All right, so someone asked, could I uh, do make pictures of this, send the videos, do, do something, show this guitar, uh, describe it? I don't know what the hell they asked, but they said pictures. I can't do pictures on YouTube because I'm an idiot. But I can do a video about this. So here, let's take off the strap lock. Come here, which way does it go? There, boom. Now where's the other one? Come here. There. Okay, strap locks. Now, let's see this guitar. First off, start out with a cheap Ibanez Geo. Uh, the one with the reverse things. I don't know. They might still make it. GRG120DX, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it didn't have... It had a cheap trim. It doesn't have a locking nut. I put that on. I put a veneer on there. Pretty much everything else is stock on this neck. I don't even know if I changed the card. I think the card is pretty much the same. I set it in. Yeah, it's regular cheapo. Of course, I ground off anything that showed that was from China or Geo or Ibanez. And I set it into this. This appears to be walnut. That might be my last piece of the other walnut. It has a veneer on the back. You can see I had two pieces of... Ah! Two pieces of popular on this first base coat because I didn't have a lot. It's just scraps. Ah... And that's actually an Ibanez plate from who knows what, G, uh, RG or something. Bevels cut in. The shape I made, whoa, f from I, from just, uh, all right, turn this damn thing over. I made the shape from just, hold on, bam, ah, made the shape from, uh, from I, from looking at pictures. Okay, so I set the neck into this, glued it into a block. What I do, I think I think this was a Squire, believe it or not, Squire Showmaster. And if you can see, you can actually see the raised part, because it always happens after the glue dries and sets and shrinks. That would be the main core of the body. Boom, boom, up there somewhere. And then three pieces, you know, three quarters, three quarter, and one quarter. And then the maple veneer on top, too. And I, you know, buy this plate from Guitar Parts, something or other. Oh, where is it? I buy the, the, those things I buy from here. Guitar Parts Factory. Uh, they're not always perfect, but they have stuff that other people don't. Uh, knobs, I don't know, I get, I get them from whatever. I have to buy these switches because they don't come on Ivanhoe's. That's a DiMarzio. I thought that was a Duncan, but I'm not sure what that is. That might actually be a Squire or a Dean type of pickup. Uh, I bought the base from Floyd Rose in Wall, New Jersey. These saddles on this, I believe, are from a Special, and it has a big brass block. I, I rebuild Floyd's for fun. Uh, same with this body. I just make this body. I build up the layers. I cut the shape. The next one I did, I actually cut a slice out of my pattern, which was patterns downstairs, and shortened it three-eighths of an inch, which is that much. Which is that much. Caddy corner. Anyway, so that's what this is. This is all made. Uh, you have to change the sides. Even here, you can see where I originally... I was going to use the other one, but then I closed it in with a piece of veneer and, and stuff because it was different. You have to change the from the fake Floyds to the real Floyds. Uh, I don't know. So yeah, I make these. I make all my guitars. I make this. I made that. I made that. Uh, the one behind there is an Explorer style that I made the body from a BC Rich, but you know, most of these I just make because I like to play guitar and this is my hobby. So yeah, can you buy these? No. You can make one if you care to spend like four or five years going through all this stuff. I mean, I was a carpenter for 20-something years, so that kind of helps. Plus, 
hey, I, what, what did it cost to build this? The neck, the guitar for the neck costs about, I don't know, 150 bucks, say. This pickup is, I bought the set, the John Petrucci set. That was 144 bucks when I bought the set. I don't know where this came from. One of the many guitars. That Floyd Rose Thousand Series bass is 54 bucks, I think. That was nickel. I painted it black. Oh, Floyd Rose, uh, you either have them buy one for 78 bucks, especially in black or, or nickel or whatever. Uh, the Switch, 13 bucks. Pro line from Guitar Center. The wood, probably about 60 bucks in wood, even with the veneer. The veneer is probably, yeah, about 60, 80 bucks, depending on how much veneer you buy. I put it on the front and the back on this one, veneer. Uh, the ink, of course, is uh, Magic Marker ink from the dollar store. Boom! Magic markers. Especially highlighters. And this this lacquer started checking because I left this one in the sun and this all bubbled up from the heat and never do that. These all have lacquer on them. This one I actually got flame maple veneer. But you really can't see it. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. That's what it is. There it is. There's the picture. There's the... There's... That's, such is life. Ah! Oh, I also... I think I might have used a black magic marker on the fretboard to d darken the uh, to darken the rosewood a little bit. Maybe not. This might just be naturally dark. But if the rosewood is too light, I do darken. I like ebony. All right, there it is.